In the healthcare sector, we have several small cap updates, starting out with Relipsa. The company reported results from its drug interaction study, and shares of the biotech higher on the results. How promising are these results from Veltasa's study, and what are the analysts saying? Hi, Jane. Relipsa shares are up 5% on Tuesday, topping $20 a share. The biotech reported encouraging results from its Phase 1 study of its key candidate. The study evaluated drug-drug interactions between Veltasa for oral suspension and 12 drugs that were demonstrated binding for in vitro tests. Now, the study was administered at the same time or with a three-hour delay. The FDA approved Veltasa last year to treat hyperkalemia. Now, the drug treats people with elevated blood potassium levels. The DDI study came amid the FDA approval that had a box warning on drug-drug interactions. Now, DDIs occur when a medication interacts or interferes with another drug. There can be unexpected side effects. With today's gain, the market cap for the company stands at $859 million. Despite the move higher, it is well off its 52-week high of $42.26 a share. As for analyst ratings, Wedbush analyst Liana Musados reiterated an outperform rating and $86 price target. The firm views Relipsa's results as a positive. And Oppenheimer reiterated an outperform rating on Relipsa stock. It assigned a $55 target price. The company says that the latest data was positive and may help lift its black box warning on Veltasa. And last but not least, Cohen maintains its outperform rating on Relipsa. Well, we all love our pets, and there's nothing quite as trying as dealing with a sick Fido. Aranta Therapeutics fell for its first FDA approval. What does this animal drug aim to treat? Aratana Therapeutics filed a new animal drug application for Galaprad. The pet therapeutics company hopes to receive its first FDA-approved drug with the agency's Center for Veterinary Medicine. Galaprad is a treatment that helps dogs that suffer from osteoarthritis. It aims to control pain and inflammation in dogs with this pain. And the Animal Drug User Fee Act date for approval is slated for March 25th. Aratana says it anticipates commercial availability of Galaprat in the autumn of this year. Now, after a higher open, today's shares are trading flat. The stock is well off its 52-week high of $20.63. It has a market cap of just over $107 million. In terms of analyst ratings, Jeffries Group reaffirmed its buy rating recently, and Zach's Investment upgraded the stock from a hold to strong buy. It has a $3.50 price target. And sticking with the latest healthcare updates, Galapagos extending losses on Tuesday. The biotech reported trial results for its bowel disease drug. Now, what's the outlook for the experimental candidate? Galapagos reported that its experimental bowel disease drug failed in a research trial. The Belgian company's treatment for ulcerative colitis, GLPG-1205, was well tolerated in the Phase 2A study, but it did not perform better than the placebo in a medical trial. Now, Galapagos says it will evaluate the drug in alternative indications. Shares of the company dipped 1% on Tuesday.